Brother Moses Weisman, I'm a member of Christ Embassy Church, Nalia, Kampala, Uganda. I would like to welcome you to Christ Embassy Chambogo Online Church. Our mission is to preach the word of God and spread the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to the whole world. Let me take this opportunity to thank our man of God. The Right Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilome and our highly esteemed Dizono Pastor Luis Osademi for the opportunity according to me to preach the word of God online. Let us begin with a prayer. Father Lord, we thank you. We glorify your name. We exalt your name. We thank you for the word and the message of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is the gospel of salvation. As I preach the word today, I pray that it penetrates the hearts of the audience for the good of the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all men should come to Christ Jesus. Amen. Brothers and sisters, in the last episode, I talked about the Word of God, that the Word of God is the solid foundation that we should build our lives on the Word of God, that our spiritual understanding of the things of the Kingdom of God is very important in the last days, that we should build our lives on Christ Jesus who is the Word of God, the incarnate Word of God. We also looked at several scriptures concerning the Word of God as a solid foundation. Our Lord taught us that we should build the Word of God, that it is the rock of our salvation, that building our lives on His Word is like a man who built his house on a rock. The, 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 the winds came and vehemently blew over that, that house, but it did not fall because it was built on the solid foundation of the Word of God. Now, in this episode, we are going to look at uh, something else. My thing for the sermon will be taken from a episode of Realities. March, uh, the 21st edition, and the topic is the stakes are high. From the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 11, says, Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. In our amplified version of the Bible, it says, never lack in zeal and in honest endeavor. Be a glow and burn with the Spirit serving the Lord. Uh, our pastor says, clearly, we see from the scriptures that we are in the final days before the rapture of the church. This is in the time loaf around. There is a lot the Lord wants to do through you with a short time. Our theme verse says not thoughtful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. You've got to work with the mentality that his appearing could be any minute. And become very passionate in your spirit for the gospel ensuring it is spread and impact around the world. As the scriptures tell us, the Antichrist is only going to be given three and a half years for the great revelation. 
It is going to be a period of intense trouble. Worse than the world has ever experienced. And you will ever experience Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. And it will be worldwide in scope, Jesus said. And except those days should be shortened, there should be no flesh be saved. That is Matthew chapter 24, verse 22. Imagine the kind of evil and destruction that will be perpetrated by the Antichrist for only three and a half years that warrants a divine shortening. That also tells us something. We can do a lot of good within a short time. We can shake up this world. It begins with you giving more attention to prayer, especially praying for the impact of the gospel around the world in these last days. This is very important. The stakes are very high. It's not just about you. It's about the future of our world. Before the rapture, we got to dominate this world like never before. Jesus isn't planning to snatch us out of this world as though we've been victims. Remember, that we overcame the world. He is coming for a victorious church, a triumphant church. Glory be to God. In the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 3, it says, Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament, and those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever. Because the stakes are high, those who are wise now are preaching the gospel and turning many to righteousness. So we are the stars and we shall shine forever in the kingdom. So let us be wise, preach the word of God and turn men from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. Let, let our light shine to the whole world. And in the book of Isaiah chapter 60, from verse 1, it says, Arise, shine, for your glory has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Let us arise and shine. The glory of the Lord is risen upon us. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the peoples. But the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. Glory be to God. Let us shine, for the glory of the Lord is risen upon us. Let us preach the gospel to every creature, because the glory of the Lord is risen upon us. We are children of the light, and we are walking in the light of God's word. So let us shine for the kingdom. Let us bring this glory of the kingdom to every man's world. This is our great commission, to preach the gospel to every creature. In the book of Mark, our Lord Jesus Christ, the book of Mark, chapter 16 verse 15 he said go into the world and preach the gospel to every creature this is a great commission and how our lord has given us the power the authority to preach this gospel with boldness he has says he has sent us the holy spirit to be with us give us the boldness to preach this gospel because the stakes are high in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8, he said, I'll send you the power that is the Holy Spirit who will descend upon us and we shall be his witnesses. In Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria and to the utmost parts of the world, our Lord has charged us 
with this great commission to be his witnesses to the whole world. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 from verse 17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. In Christ, we are a new species, a new creation. We have that newness of life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Verse 18, Now all things are of God, who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ, and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Our Lord has committed to us the ministry of reconciliation, reconciling men to God. Because of my father's say, that is, that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses to them, and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. This is the message of the gospel. Reconciling men to God. And our Lord has committed to us this ministry of reconciliation. It is not committed to angels. It is committed to us. And it says, therefore, we are ambassadors of Christ. Hallelujah. We are his representatives on earth. We are the one child. We are taking his gospel to the whole world. We are his ambassadors. It is as though God was pleading through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf. Be reconciled to God. This is the message. We implore you, be reconciled to God. Receive the message of salvation. Because that is why our Lord came to earth and to die on the cross of Calvary. He shed his blood for this gospel. That men can be reconciled to God. This is the message that we preach. The message of salvation. Because the stakes are high and we are in the last days, we need to preach this message to the whole world and bring men from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. This gospel has been committed to us. How, does, how do you receive salvation? The book of Romans, chapter 9, chapter 10, verse 9, it says that if you confess the Lordship of Jesus Christ with your mouth and believe in your heart that he was raised from the dead you receive salvation that is the way you receive salvation by confessing the Lordship of our Lord Jesus Christ and believing in your heart that he was raised from the dead and he goes on to say that whosoever believes on his name shall be saved no one shall be put to shame. Whosoever believes on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ shall be saved. That is the message of salvation. It is the message of hope, the message of love. And that is the message that we preach, that men are turned from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of darkness because the stakes are high and we are in the last days. Glory be to God. When I'm weary, Hallelujah. When I'm hurting, when I'm